is Paul. Welcome back to my channel. The video is available. So this is going to be Friday 8 p.m. If this video goes up on time, which I should do. So this video should be covering up the um, overview of the things that I talked about this week when it comes to like gaming informations. Uh, I just talked about some videos like gambling laws and Star Wars Battlefront 2 sales and stuff like that on you know today. So I'm not going to be overviewing them because that just happened this week. Maybe I'll cover them next week and then overview them later. Okay, this week I'm going to round up two things. One is Destiny 2 and one is Net Neutrality. So when you are watching this, Net Neutrality might have gone downhill or might have not down gone, might have not gone downhill. What the fuck? So there's like six hours legway here and uh, I think it can happen. But they said on tweets that it might be postponed to uh, one day or some hours or so I'm scared because if it's like a no-brainer thing it should not be done My, they might release it so soon but if it's not that's the worst possible scenario that can happen because at the end of the day net neutrality is something that is far far worse than loot boxes or gambling because I would say that it stops every progression that we had as a civilization um, in this information age now people might be like okay this is not a big deal just move on something like that or it's like just as us you know you don't get affected by it i don't get affected by it of course i i understand that but i just want to talk about human civilization as a whole like let me talk to you there are a lot of things that are there that is wrong in this world and people are trying to fight it and for them they need help so best example that i can give you is if there's an activist trying to do a protest on something that is bad so if their group is on facebook uh, twitter and things instagram this is social media thing if the net neutrality goes downhill that will be like they need to get some separate packs for those things social media things and you think they are gonna everyone is gonna get that youtubers imagine their life their career they built on a platform twitch twitch is supporting net neutrality just imagine if that's a big service and if it takes a hit, who's going to be there? I mean, Ajit Pai can sit here and talk about various things. Like, he's a fucking asshole. That can, that, that's what I can say. He's, he's, he's not the one who's actually doing it. He's controlled by someone else behind him for money. Obviously, that's like, that's the best thing that can be seen from this. Like, we can see it right through his eyes. You are not fucking true to yourself. You are not fucking true to your cause. You're just making it for the money. Everyone can see it. But people are not reacting enough. People are not just like just like going hard at it. It's like they're taking back. They're like, oh no no problem for me. Uh if it all goes downhill, that's like no problem. It's no problem. But anyways this is kind of like a news and I try to keep it unbiased. Not for this one guys. Not for this one. If you you can understand right when I try to do these news I'll try to be pros cons for both sides. I'll talk about it. But at the end of the day, this is something that is far, far, far worse. Like, it halts the progression of the human civilization. Simple as that. I mean, you can just like look at it. No, it's not. It's not going to be like that. But it is. Simple as that. I mean, if you think about it, the best way to look at it is you are easy, easily activating everything. I mean, no matter the poor or rich, if they can like get a service package. So even if the poor... Or can't afford certain things they can afford internet for a certain deal okay they can access the internet you can access the internet you can just do it for more time they can do it for less time that's the data limit that is there okay so everyone can access it imagine that goes away you know imagine that goes away that's not the case if people are saying like okay it's not going to be the problem uh, Verizon AT&T are not going to be the bad guys they are going to support it of course they are going to support it that's if, if you think that then you are the dumbest person ever just imagine two three years ago this happened uh, I think AT&T was not affiliated with Netflix or something and they screwed around the fast lane and slow lanes so people can not watch Netflix at all until Netflix gives them some sort of money and gets affiliated with them. Imagine that. With net neutrality, they did that. If without net neutrality, what, what do you think can happen? Do you actually think they the Comcast guys put it on the Twitter? I, I read the Twitter thread. It was the funniest shit ever. They said, oh, we, are, we stand by for, um, you know, we stand by for net neutrality. We support that and shit. People didn't buy that. I mean, I was surprised because Twitter is the nicest place that you can be. Seriously, you can compared with reddit 
Twitter is a nice place, but it's also an asshole place because, like in Reddit, if people are brutally honest, you know, if Star Wars Battlefront 2, it's sh shitty as hell. And you go to Twitter, they're like, oh, people are entitled. They're just like, they're spoiled brats. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is fine. And then you're like, huh, I'm going to stick with Reddit for this one, buddy. Sorry. So there are different things that is pros for Reddit and pros for Twitter. But at the same time, that's what I talk about. Like in Twitter, people are got pissed at this situation. Like, who, who, do you, who are you kidding, man? You are a fucking idiot. I don't want it, stuff like that. But they, they, there might be some pros, I mean some of some of the creators on youtube will go away uh, i'm not gonna say the names but they will probably but they have money so they will move away to the new place i i think but they can afford all the things so yeah but the problem is you you the common people who can't watch it right even if they upload even if they get all the packages and then they're like oh i can do all these things but there's no one to watch oh shit so everyone will get affected i'll get affected you'll get affected so i would say fight for it i don't know if the vote has gone through when i made when i upload this video but please just 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 please just fight for it if it goes away if they repeal it there's no neutrality we are all screwed you think that they are gonna just bring it back so soon i mean this is done by someone sitting in the white house i'm not gonna say who the name is but the white house should be clear enough for you i mean just imagine you'll be like uh that doesn't sound right this is not political this is just you know one guy in the fcc doing it obviously that fcc guy was hired by you know who and this is simple like there are many 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 protests there are many information I'm calling this information age, information age for a reason, right? In people, if they get an information, if they talk about something, you will get to know that because of someone sharing it on the internet, right? Simple as that. So if he does something bad and that gets exposed, it's going to go to the internet and then it's going to spread like a wildfire. But that if there's no internet, You gotta think that through slowly slowly you can process that right then you can be talking to me like oh that's news uh, new sites man we can see that and stuff like that but yeah in this day and age are you really telling me that you're watching the internet or watching the news actual news let's be real here so you scrolling through social media you're not going to do that you're not going to be able to do that you're not just going to be able to see this you're not just going to be able to see that everything will be shut down for you and if you want to access that money social media platforms 14 dollars twitch youtube that sort of things 10 dollars if you want to upload netflix amazon prime that's going to be a separate package so all these things are going to be separate and no matter how hard you try it's going to cost you for trying everything and you can be like, oh, fine, that seems to be all right. That seems to be legit. I just pay everything and then it's going to be all right, right? But that's not going to be the case because they can control the speed at which you are watching something. And if you don't have certain packages, you are not going to be able to do that. That's all I'm saying. But if you are not still convinced yet, again, I said this uh, in the last video, if you're not convinced, go watch someone who you love, who you see as a person. This can be just a random video that you see on the recommendations tab on YouTube and <clears throat> it will be like oh net neutrality who aren't all talking about it just you will see that but if you don't trust me if you don't believe me just go and see your social influencer and believe their words because it is true and if it goes away again I'm not I'm stressing this too much if it goes away once it will not come back this is like love true love and the next thing that I want to cover is Destiny 2. Uh, I talked about it. They screwed up big time. And then they came out and then said, oh, we screwed up big time. I'm like, <laughs> that that's like the dumbest shit I've ever seen a Bungie employee do. Like when they come out and it's like, oh, I we are wrong about locking the content behind uh, the DLC, eh? All right, good job. I mean, I understand. And people are supporting them. Some people are supporting them. To them, I want to say this one. Because they uh, they don't have any defense. They are just supporting it because it's destiny. I'm like, really, buddy? Are you that moronic? I mean, let's just be real here. Okay, you buy the game for $60. Uh, 
let me let me be like uh, I don't have a console, so I will be talking about the, for the PC gamers. I am a PC gamer. I buy the game sixty dollars. It's just one month release, one month before. So and there is content. Okay, don't don't get me wrong. There is content for me at the end of the game. So I'm playing for that. I know about that content. I'm playing for that content because my console friend said that about. So when I go there, it takes more than months. So I'm just taking my own pace. Okay, I'm playing the game. So when I get there. It game updates okay and it says you can't activate these things and I'm like why it said you can activate before it says oh you need to buy the DLC $20 who the fuck are you kidding huh who the fuck are you supporting here for I got the game for $60 it's my game I can play it who the fuck are you to tell me not to play who the fuck are you to support Bungie or Activision on this are you that dumb fucking People, stupid people pisses me off. Don't get me wrong. You are, I love you. But the dumb people, no. They have to, they are, they can learn. I'm not saying they are dumb. People are intelligent enough, but they choose to ignore things. Those people I hate. They can learn, but they don't want to learn. I hate those people. So I want to say it's like Bungie coming out and acting like a good guy doesn't seem to be working anymore. Because if this is the first time, they're going to be given a pass. But this is the third time, fourth time in Destiny 2 lifespan alone. I mean, they screwed around with a level experience share, with which was fucking absurd. They uh, they fucked up twice there, and then they acted like a good guy. So this time around, the same thing. Oh, we shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry about it. I'm like, really, buddy? You think so? You really think so? And it's like, so... That's pretty much it. They are talking about it, and they kind of made a change. They kind of reversed on all things. Like you can activate the end content right now if you are at a certain level. People are just like giving away the games. They just you know getting a refund, but he they are assuring that they are gonna do something good. And the major thing is the problem with this news information is I'm gonna cover the bad things only because that's where it all started. I'm not gonna look at the positiveness. Okay. Imagine like they are updating free things for people who actually bought the game in PC and stuff like that. They are giving a lot of free updates. They are giving, doing a lot of good things as well. But I'm not going to cover that because when I look at it, it's like you are putting people in a precarious position for them to buy the $20 worth, you know, DLC or they can't play the game to the fullest. I mean, if you do that shit, I'm going to take a look at that rather than the good thing that is behind it. Sorry, that's just me. Okay, that's not just me. People take a look at that. That's bad PR. That's why it's called as bad PR. Any PR is not a good PR. Bad PRs are bad PRs. Just let that be clear on that. And Destiny 2 is a great example of it. Even though they are good at the end of the day, they are not good enough. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Share the video with friends and family. Subscribe to the channel for other things gaming. And join the Cavalier Collective. Until next time, be peculiar, stay peculiar. Stop posting around and do that world notification icon let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the destiny debacle and what do you what do you stand on net neutrality if you understand more from what i talked about if you don't understand it good but you got a at least a vague clarification on certain things just let me know in the comments down below what do you think about it and uh this is the news overview that i'm going to be doing every friday uh possibly on 2 p.m or 8 p.m it won't be in the morning because i will talk something there and then it's like and something I'll talk about in the next week, you know, overviews and stuff like that, which will be really amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.